Hello everyone and welcome back to another GT Online video where today I'm going to go over 5 vehicles that if you have the spare cash to buy, you should definitely buy if you're wanting to have some fun. Now as you already know, driving vehicles at high speed and going around corners in a racing like environment can be a fun and thrilling experience, but the vehicles that I'm putting in this list are the ones that have very unique experiences compared to vehicles of the same class. So it's not just going to be land vehicles in this video but also sea and air vehicles, so let's get this video started shall we? Number 5 So for the number 5 spot it's going to be monster trucks. Now when I say monster trucks I of course mean the Liberator as well as the Marshall series of monster trucks. What I personally like about the Marshalls in particular is that when you go to buy one you can have a truck that's stylized around your home country complete with a flag. I think there's one other vehicle that also allows this, I can't really remember what it is, but it's pretty cool to have vehicles that come with patriotic styling. Although I do feel that Rockstar really favoured the Americans by making the Liberator, but hey, it's an American game that's set in America, so I can forgive that. Though it would be pretty cool to see a UK flag Liberator. That'd look kick ass, wouldn't you agree? But besides liveries and other stuff that don't matter that much, monster trucks are just fun. They're fun to carelessly drive around in the city, they're even more fun to drive around the rural landscape surrounding Mount Chiliad, and it's also fun to climb up the Great Mountain itself in one. I also like the fact that Rockstar made them available for the off-road race class even though they're massively underpowered compared to <coughs> bikes. But monster trucks are a great bag of fun if you can get your hands on one of these. Number four. For the number 4 spot it's going to be the Mammatus Plane. Now for those who don't know what the Mammatus is, it's a plane which looks sort of similar to the Vellum, which is why you would be forgiven if you confused one with the other. But what makes the Mammatus shine in particular is the fact that its handling model is incredibly stable when doing the likes of flying inverted, flying knife edge and just doing any sort of stunt in general. Combine that with its overall slow cruising speed even at maximum throttle and you get a plane that can pull off stunts that would otherwise be difficult if not impossible in other planes. It's also very practical too, it can hold four people, it's easy to land and is overall a nice plane to own if you want to show off to your mates how much of a mad skill pilot you are. Just be careful not to screw up because you won't hear the end of it for a week. Where did you learn to fly? Number three. For the number 3 spot it's going to be the Nagasaki Chimera. Now the Chimera is a trike that allows its rider to do quite a few things that you otherwise wouldn't be able to do on any other GTA 5 bike, such as pulling off wheelies that you have to fully control. On any other bike in GTA you simply hold back on the stick, hold the throttle open and watch as your character automatically pulls off a wheelie like a chav out running the police in the middle of London. BORING! The Chimera requires the rider to be more engaged when controlling the wheelie as you're riding along. Pulling off a long wheelie manually on this thing is much more engaging and thus more fun. Also if you pop the rear tyres you can do that thing where you're on an ice rink which just amounts to even more fun. Before I move on to number 2 I must give an honourable mention to the BF Raptor which is another three wheel vehicle but in the opposite configuration, allowing you to pull off these mad stunts which involve Number 2 for the number 2 spot it's going to be the Kraken. Now you can probably guess why this is on the list, it's because it allows you to explore the depths of the ocean to your heart's content without worrying about your remaining rebreathers and possibly dying because you didn't keep tabs on them. Now GTA 5 has been out for like 4 years now as of the making of this video and even if you've explored every nook and cranny of Los Santos on land, then there's a good chance that you haven't explored the entirety of what the ocean has in store for you. So to truly explore Los Santos to the fullest, you've got to get one of these things. Or you can just steal a submarine from one of the many spots if you can't afford a Kraken. Just saying. Number one. And for the number one spot, I think a lot of you guys would have seen this coming, but yes, it's the Oppressor. 
Do I really have to explain? It's a flying bike that shoots missiles at the front. Provided you've done the research, that is. You can fly through gaps that no full-size aircraft would be able to do. You'd be able to do stunts that no other vehicle in the game would be able to pull off. You can go pretty much anywhere in the map at the fastest speed possible, only through the use of an oppressor. And best of all, you don't have to rely on Pegasus to call it in. You can use your motorcycle club business to quickly and effectively call it in. So effectively, you have a witch's broomstick that you you can just call upon to get you the hell out of there in less than like 10 seconds, no matter where you are, so long as there's a road near you. And that's it for my personal top 5 vehicles which are fun as hell to use. If you agree or disagree, make sure to let me know in the comments, and hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Pyrone Gaming channel for loads more videos coming to you very soon. See you around everyone.